Hello and welcome to the most unbiased as well as most honest car review channel here on YouTube from India's most credible automotive website Autoportal. And with the end of the year arriving soon, it's time now to honor the best car launches of this year. So let's get started. Well, the hatchback space this year featured one big car launch which was from Tata Motors. And apart from that, uh, there weren't too many new car launches. There was only the Datsun Redigo and a lot of other new variants as well as updates. But the Tata Motors Tiago really won this category hands down. And why has it uh, managed to win it? Well, simply because uh, it really has got people talking about the Tata brand and it has managed to get uh, buyers back into Tata Motors dealerships, something that Tata Motors was really desperate for because uh, when they walk into the Tata dealership, they also have a look at the Tata Bolt as well as the Tata Zest and the other cars standing there. And the Tiago has managed to do this without undercutting in terms of features or in terms of space as well as overall build quality. So really a very commendable job done by Tata Motors in terms of packaging the Tiago. It really doesn't feel as inexpensive as it is. In fact, it feels like a car which should be sold at a much higher price point. And Tata Motors really has worked a lot of magic on this car. And that's the reason it is the hatchback of this year. Well, there weren't too many launches this year in the sedan segment, but uh, there were a few which really did ruffle the feathers. And the award for this year goes to the Hyundai Elantra. And why does it go to the Elantra? Well, simply because this car has managed to restart the executive or reignite the executive uh, segment. And it is uh, one of the best cars now, not only in terms of looks, but also in terms of features as well as driving dynamics because Hyundai has worked very hard on improving the driving dynamics of this car. This car now really does feel like it can compete with the Skodas as well as the VWs of the world when it comes to sheer driving dynamics. Hyundai really has done a great job. Well, the luxury car of the year award was a tough one this year because uh, there were lots of premium sedans which were launched. And the one which is uh, miles ahead of all of them is the Volvo S90. Yes, this is uh, the best luxury car that was launched this year. And why is that? Well, not only does it come uh, loaded with tech, it comes with features like lane keeping, which uh, of course is the first time that the Indian Army has allowed uh, radar based uh, features to be added onto a car and the Volvo is the first one to use them. But it also gets uh, features like heated as well as cooled front seats, which is something very good for our uh, environment, which is uh, very tough as well as very harsh across the country. And the best part is that uh, this car looks smashing on the outside. It really does have a very cool caution about its styling, especially the Thor hammer styled headlamps. But even the interiors are very classy and made from the best quality materials. And the big center console, which has that big screen, is really very intuitive and very easy to operate and really does give the Volvo S90 a personality of its own. It really does uh, match up to the Germans and in fact is ahead of the Germans on most counts. And it is our luxury car of the year. Well, the SUV segment this year really did uh, feature a lot of new car launches as well as a lot of updates. Well, this segment not only featured a lot of engine updates from the house of Mahindra because of the NGT ban in the Delhi NCR region, but it also saw the return or the re-return or the reincarnation of the king of this segment, the Toyota Fortuner. So this was really a segment which saw a lot of debate amongst our team members and a segment which debated a lot of heat when we discussed which car should be the best SUV. And at the end of the day, we decided to give it to the Ford Endeavor. And why did we give it to the Ford Endeavor? Well, simply because it comes with a huge list of features, it comes with a capable set of engines and it also gets a very capable 4x4 system. Along with all this, you also get 7 seats in the cabin and solid build quality. Ford really has loaded it with a lot of features. It comes loaded with a lot of features which are not available at most cars which are even more higher in terms of the pricing. But the best part is that it also gets a lot of features which offer a lot of comfort and it comes with two diesel engine options which are very good in terms of refinement as well as responsiveness and make this car a very easy car to drive if you are someone who drives himself. And even if you are someone who enjoys doing the occasional off-roading uh, duty and if you are someone who likes to take his car off-roading, then the Endeavour is more capable than most of its other rivals. It really is 
a fantastic product and a car which really does deserve to sell a lot more. Well, so the MPV of the year uh, really has to be the Toyota Innova Crystal. There's no two ways about it. This is the best MPV not only of the year, but also probably of the last decade. Yes, uh, a lot of rivals have tried to dethrone the king, but they have been very unsuccessful. But the new Crystal really does uh, take the game further away from its rivals. It really does uh, enhance the feeling of luxury as well as comfort inside the cabin because uh, the cabin now comes with a host of new features including seven airbags which means that if you are someone who really does uh, place a lot of importance on safety which you should then the Nova really is up there with the best and a lot of uh, luxury car buyers will be buying this car simply because of those captain seats in the middle rows because these seats really are the best in the business they really do feel as comfortable as well as luxurious as the business class seats of a lot of jet liners and that alone makes the Innova a car that you should buy. Well, the new Innova really does work on the strengths of the older car and it really does uh, take uh, the MPV game a notch higher. This car feels a lot more luxurious and comfortable than the outgoing model and it uh, really does feel like a very premium product. Now, it really does feel like you're spending your money well. Yes, it is a lot more expensive than the outgoing car and it certainly feels like you are uh, ending up buying a luxury car but you know what they say, good things come at a price and the Nova is the best thing that's ever happened to the MPV segment here in India. Well, so there could be only one winner for the premium SUV category this year and that car is the Hyundai Tucson. Hyundai now really is the leader when it comes to overall features as well as overall cabin ambience at a relatively affordable price. But Hyundai actually takes the game forward with the Tucson in such a big way that uh, this car can actually outlast and shame a few of uh, its uh, German rivals which sell at roughly the same price point. And how have they managed to do that? Well, I don't know. You have to ask Hyundai. Well, but not only is the cabin a very sophisticated place to be in, even the looks of this car are very good. And the icing on the cake is the fact that this car is the best Hyundai till date to drive. It really does feel very dynamic and very agile when you drive it. And uh, as I just said, Hyundai really has taken the game hugely forward with the all new Tucson. But this car really does feel very premium, very upmarket and very posh. And it is a car which is, of course, our premium SUV of this year. Well, so the most improved car of the year award goes to the Honda Amaze. And why does it go to the Amaze? Well, because the Amaze has always been a solid package. In fact, one of the best all-round products in its segment. But the only thing this car was lacking was a nice uh, interior. And Honda really has addressed that problem with the updated version of the car because this car now borrows its uh, dashboard from the Honda BRV, And it also gets a lot of new features. And that cabin does give this car a very premium and upmarket feel, something that the older car was lacking. And the new Amaze really is the best package in this segment now because it comes with a very comfortable interior, a very roomy back seat, as well as a huge boot, not to mention the peppy and punchy 1.2 litre petrol engine, as well as the fuel efficient 1.5 diesel, making the Amaze the best all round entry level mid size saloon. Well, the Value for Money award could only go to one car and that is the Renault Quid AMT and it really is a very good package. My colleague Prashant Singh went to drive it and he came back very impressed. Now, the Renault Quid's AMT does not feel like you are driving a traditional AMT. There is no jerkiness in the gearbox or there is a little bit of jerkiness but it is negligible when you compare it to its rivals. But the best part about this car is its new 1 litre engine. This engine, of course, remember, was introduced earlier before the AMT was launched. It's a smooth engine, it loves to rev, and it generates a lot more power than the 800cc mill does, which means that this car feels a lot better and a lot easier to drive on the highway. You don't really need to shift gears manually. And at this price point, it really is a steal because remember, it comes with a host of features, including a big 7 inch touchscreen which really does uh, come with all the bells and whistles. It gets navigation maps. Remember Renault launched this uh, one litre engine before they launched the AMT version. What this one litre engine does is that it gives the Quid longer legs 
and more flexibility on the highway. The car does not feel as strained on the highway as the 800cc engine did and it is a lot more easier now to drive on the highway. It is also much more smoother than the 800cc engine. Well, but the best part about the AMT is it's very competitive and very keen pricing. Now the AMT 1 liter uh, quid costs only around 35,000 rupees more over the 1 liter manual quid uh, which is phenomenal in terms of pricing. So overall, the Renault Quid AMT is our best value for money car for this year. Well, the variant of the year award this year goes to the Maruti Suzuki Swift Desire AGS. Now this of course is a car which a lot of other reviewers, motoring journalists do not like because they say that it's not good to drive, there's no space in it and uh, it just does not have the dynamic ability of its rivals. Don't listen to them because they only talk about driving pleasure and nothing else matters to most of them. But the Desire is a great car and why is that? Well, the new AMT uh, offers you the hassle-free experience of driving a car without changing gears in the city. It's also not very expensive, it's uh, decent in terms of pricing. And this car also comes with Maruti's tried and tested 1.3 DDIS diesel engine, which is very good in terms of fuel efficiency. But uh, this car also comes with very comfortable seats, especially the front ones. They are the best in the business. And being a Maruti means you can get it serviced anywhere in India without any issues at all. But the best part, of course, is the fact that, as I just mentioned, it's pricing. It's very competitive in terms of pricing and will not burn a big hole in your pocket. So overall, it really is the best of all worlds. Well, the Desire is also a pretty good car to drive. And why is that? Because remember, it's based on the Swift platform. It's exactly the same car underneath and it's only got a little more weight in it because of the big boot behind so it is a good car to drive it is a pretty decent car in terms of dynamics and it's also a very comfortable car to ride in because the suspension has been tuned for comfort so it really does soak in all those bumps very well and that is the reason why despite very strong competition it continues to be the best selling entry-level compact sedan in india Well, so there were a lot of contenders for the Drivers Car of the Year award this year and it really was a very competitive segment this year but eventually we've given it to the Jaguar XC. This car really is scintillating to drive and it really does challenge the BMW 3 Series as the best driver's car in this segment. Now remember the 3 Series has been the best driver's car for decades in this segment and the Jaguar XC which is an all new product really did come out this year internationally and it has managed to uh, take over or take on the uh, BMW 3 Series in the driving dynamics department. But uh, what I will also tell you is that uh, it's refined petrol engine, it's nice mix of features and it's stylish looks on the outside as well as that very very crisp steering wheel make it a delight to drive even for those short city stints. It really is a beautiful car to look at and a beautiful car to drive. Well, not only is the Jaguar XC a great car to look at, it's also a very dramatic car as soon as you step inside the cabin because remember that uh, little swivel wheel pops out every time you switch the engine on because uh, that swivel wheel is actually the gearbox, the gear knob control rather for the car. So it looks very dramatic. Even the steering wheel is really very crisp and makes the XC the best handling car in its segment at the moment. It really is a fantastic car and that's why we've given it the driver's car of the year award for this year. Well, so the technology award this year goes to the Honda Accord Hybrid. Now, this car is a technological tour de force and it really does come with a lot of sophisticated and class-leading technology. And it's just not an ordinary hybrid. It uses uh, the best available technologies right now across uh, segments. And it also comes uh, with class-leading features as well as technology. And uh, that alone is a reason to buy it if you're in the luxury car market. But of course, the other reason to buy this car is because of its sumptuous and hugely comfortable sofa-like back seats. Yes, this car really does offer uh, Mercedes E-Class-like comfort at an Audi A4 price. And that alone is the reason enough to consider it. Well, so the best design of the year award was also very competitive in its nature because uh, a lot of cars are good looking which have been launched and it really had a lot of Hyundai cars and eventually it is a Hyundai which has won the award 
and it is the Hyundai Tucson which uh, has won this award and why is that? Well because it looks like a very well balanced design and Hyundai's fluidic language really is uh, maturing in its own sweet way now and unlike a lot of other SUVs which really do look mean and very macho and uh, you really want to get out of the way as soon as you see them in your rear view mirror. This one is a car which you really want to look at again and again and again because it looks really fantastic. In fact, pictures as well as videos don't do this car any justice. You really should go to a Hyundai dealership next to you just to see this car and praise the effort that Hyundai engineers and designers have put into the Tucson. That uh, big grill up front, those nice flowing lamps as well as that sculpted bumper along with the fact that the interior is made from the best materials and has one of the most sophisticated designs in the market at the moment. It really is a very dynamic looking machine and Hyundai's marketing tagline of Bond Dynamic really does seem to suit the Hyundai Tucson very well. It is the best design of the year. Well, the performance car segment was also very competitive this year because uh, this year saw a lot of high performance car launches in India. But the car which uh, walks away with the trophy as well as the cake is the Audi R8 V10 Plus. Yes, this car is phenomenal in terms of uh, power delivery. 0 to 100 takes a little over 3 seconds, 0 to 200 takes about 10 seconds. And uh, it's not uh, the way the power comes, it's also the way this car stops because uh, this car is phenomenal in terms of its stopping power as well and overall this is a car which will be on the bedroom walls of a lot of young enthusiasts but it will also be on the driveways of a lot of older enthusiasts who can afford it yes it is a very good car and of course it's also the fastest car to be driven on any Indian road by none other than Aditya Patel so this car also holds that record and it's easy to see why we've given this car the trophy and why the others in this category haven't won this award. Well, so the manufacturer of the award could only go to one manufacturer and it really was a victory which was very easy and this company won it hands down. Yes, I'm talking about Maruti Suzuki. So why are we giving it to Maruti Suzuki? Well, because despite all the negative news, despite the fact that there was demonetization which really created a lot of cash crunch, and despite the delay in the GST and all the confusion that it caused and despite the fact that it really had some very difficult rivals to deal with this year, Maruti Suzuki managed to reclaim 50% of the market share. And this really is a commendable job considering that it faces some of its stiffest rivals in the past few years. It faces the Renault Quinn, remember, in the entry hatchback space which is in itself a very good car. It also faces cars like the Hyundai i20 in the premium hatchback space and it also faces five rivals in the entry mid-size space, uh, the segment where the Maruti Suzuki Swift Desire really was the king. It faces a lot of competition there and even then, it is still the number one selling car brand in India and continues to uh, grow its sales despite a lot of negative news. But the best part is that for the first time in its history, Maruti Suzuki actually made cars here in India and exported them to its parent Suzuki in Japan. Yes, they did make the Baleno here in India and exported it all the way back to Japan. And that should be a moment of pride for all of us Indians who are really following the Make in India campaign. Not only because uh, we made cars and sent them to uh, Japan, but simply because of the fact that when the first lot of Maruti cars were made in the 1980s, everyone who bought those cars really had pride in the fact that these cars had that stamp which said made in Japan. So now it's the other way around and really a proud moment for all of us Indians. And uh, there could really not be any other company which was as Indian as Maruti Suzuki in the Indian automotive space at the moment. It really is the best car manufacturer and that's why we've given it the award for this year. Well, so the car of the year is a car which really does take the buyer's imagination and really captures it. And it is also a car which should offer a lot of qualities. This is, of course, a very competitive segment. So it should offer qualities like good pricing, lots of features, and it should also be good to look at and uh, be nice to drive. This was a very tough segment to judge, and it always is because uh, there are so many new car launches, and each and every one of those cars is uh, considered for this coveted prize. And this year, we've given it to the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza. Well, this car is not one car, it's actually three different cars all packaged into one. 
and it is of course a car which offers you the ease of driving in the city as well as practicality of a hatchback when you are driving in the city but it also offers you the cabin space comfort as well as the overall features and the boot capacity of a mid-size sedan but that's not all it also offers you the on-road presence of a compact SUV so it really is a very nice crossover it's a crossover which really is enjoyable to drive comes loaded with features and is very comfortable and the icing on the cake is its pricing as well as the fact that it is a Maruti Suzuki product which means that no matter where you are you're never too far away from a Maruti Suzuki dealership or a service center so Maruti Suzuki really has worked its magic on this car it really is all things to all people and it really is a car which should make most people happy when they own it and uh, that's the reason why we have given it the Car of the Year Award this year. Well, but the best part about the Brezza is that not only does it offer you all these qualities, it also offers you one very important feature which is fuel efficiency. It really is one of the best cars in terms of fuel efficiency in India at the moment. So full marks to Maruti for the Vitara Brezza.